Stupa and Dineno will play together the next season. They shared the court for many years and were number one in Argentina. In the last World Paddle Championship in Dubai, we saw them beat Galán and Coelho in the final. Today is the moment to analyze the best plays of that match. Hello to our players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new 4 set. Let's go with the first play of this video. Stupa and Martin open up with Arturo's bandeja. Both players know that if the ball goes to the middle, Stupa can anticipate or Martin is behind him because Stupa had advanced in case Coelho does a smash. As Stupa is close to the net, Martin has to direct the bajada down to avoid putting Stupa in danger. Also, it's an angle that Coelho and Galan may have more problems as they are not used to playing together. Always remember to know where your teammate is to direct the ball to the opponents that don't generate problems for your teammate. Second play of the day, let's go! Stupa and Dineno know each other perfectly and move as if they were one person. Both cover the gaps in the court together and that is very important. Stupa leaves the ball to get its maximum height before it passes the net so Coelho cannot attack with his next shot. Stupa does a perfect backhand volley love, one of the most difficult shots in paddle. Then Galan makes a mistake hitting a very strong ball that prevents him from covering the space Martin finds when blocking the ball with the racket in front of him and with his forearm strong. Are you learning something new from this video? I would be very grateful if you subscribe to the channel. We should continue moving forward and let's go with the third play of the video that is one of my favorite. We have just seen the perfect example as we call it in Spain a nevera or a fridge in paddle. Not counting the serve, 9 balls are hit by the Spaniards. With so much repetition to Arturo, Galán tries to cross in one of them to anticipate and that's when Dineno decides to change it and win the point. The next play is the opposite. They keep Galan busy to prevent him from trying to take advantage of spaces and certain times. Stupa positioned himself completely under the ball even though it wasn't an easy lob to do so. He directs his bandeja to the fence and provokes Galan miss. It's really important to notice Stupa's effort to get under the ball and be able to do the bandeja to the fence. Pay attention now to the speed of Stupa covering angles. Stupa decides to do a bajada instead of doing a bandeja. He hits the ball very high to gain margin of error as the higher you hit the ball, the lower the net will be. Stupa goes straight forward and when he hits the ball again, he's at the head of Dineno pushing the opponents. The normal thing would be to direct the ball back to Coelho, but Stupa surprises Galan by directing to him with a wrist movement. It's time to analyze Dineno's intelligence in the game. Oh. 
Martin waits patiently for the rebounds on the wall to gain time and also to have more control. When Martin detects that Galan has already given the information to Arturo and that he's not looking at him, he advances toward the net and surprises Coelho. Then Martin knows that the court is low and that is not easy for Arturo to win with his mass. Please remember always that it's super important to let your partner know where your opponents are. But in the same way, you can take advantage of the moment when your opponent gives the information to move. Do you remember when I told you before that you have to protect your partner? In this play, Arturo decides to do a bajada to the middle of the court, but the ball goes high enough for Stupa to hit the ball without any problem. However, Galan was ahead, was at the net, so it would have been better for Arturo to do a lob to Dineno and try to block the next ball. We not only have to think about where our opponents are, but also where is our teammate. The following play is an example of faith. We see how Stupa does a bajada and directs his next ball to Coelho's backhand. If Dinero had been more aggressive, he would have an opportunity from Coelho's high ball. Then, Dinero detecting that Galan is going to do a smash, decides to step back to have more time to react. It is important that if you want to block a smash, try to stick to the glass as much as possible to gain time. Normally in a point like this, Galán or Coelho would have won the point, but in this case, the Argentinian's faith was rewarded. Let's go with the last play of this video and the most special one. The four players try to not let the ball go too far over the net to prevent their opponents from attacking them. Stupa makes a mistake and Coelho tries to hit him in the body but Stupa defends well. Coelho does a bandeja super slow that Stupa hits as soon as possible to direct it to Galan's feet, winning the net. These players face each other almost every week and that's why Galan can anticipate and returns Stupa's bandeja to the fence early. Incredible work by Dineno with the goal of not losing the net without making mistakes and preventing Coelho from doing damage. Stupa changes the dynamic and finally Dineno, very smart, reads the space and the angle and directs it to the right place to win the point. Which player would you like for the next video? Leave it in the comments and see you in the next one. Thanks.